hello hello welcome back to let's talk entertainment news on today's episode the long announced uh, merger of blumhouse and atomic monster is complete going to talk about that in a minute but before we get to that a few things that you can do for us uh, we are fast approaching 4,000 subscribers we need your help to get there and then help us shoot on past to 5,000 by years end while you're at it be sure to like our videos hit the alert bell uh comments leave uh, wonderful, beautiful, friendly comments that are productive and constructive and help carry the conversation along. Also, you might send us a few bucks through a super thanks or become a member for just $2.99 per month. But yeah, here it is. Blumhouse and James Wan's Atomic Monster have officially joined forces to create a horror mega power. Originally announced over one year ago, the deal has now been inked. Blumhouse and Atomic Monster have officially joined forces, Jason Blum announced on Twitter tonight. This means that James Wan's Atomic Monster and Jason Blum's Blumhouse Productions are now under the same roof. It was described last year as a mega house of chills and thrills, and the combined company has a first look deal with Universal Pictures. THR details, under the deal, Blumhouse and Atomic Monster will work as separate labels and retain creative independence. We'll see how long that lasts. With a three-way ownership structure split by Blum, the majority owner, Wand, and Comcast, the parent company of NBC Universal. Variety had reported back in November 2022, Atomic Monster is expecting to utilize the existing Blumhouse infrastructure to further scale their activities in film, TV, and new content areas. The idea behind the alliance is to increase the output from each side. They also hope to expand into horror-related games, live entertainment, and audio. Furthermore, Variety had noted in the report Blum is said to be pushing for Blumhouse to make at least eight horror movies for release in theaters each year, up from three to four, and it's historically delivered. And he wants to make another slate of horror flicks for Peacock, NBC Universal streaming service. Blumhouse also makes television series. So yeah, um... Quite a big deal in the in the mainstreamish horror world. Um, I'm a big uh, proponent of what Blumhouse has been doing. Um, not necessarily the quality of all the films, uh, but as a business model, um, they are spending little and finding big rewards in a time when the Disney's of the world are spending two, three hundred million dollars on all their films, and then more recently, a lot of those films are not breaking even or making only small profits. Um, this company is almost single-handedly, I would say, um, helping to save the small to mid-budget film genre, um, which has been largely eliminated in some ways. I mean, there's always been a very, very small indie film, low-budget indie film world that I think will ever die because there's always um, young kids coming up who want to make those type of films. However, um, finding budget for the sort of middling films which uh, require quite a bit of production effort um to tell their stories um you know that that's missing and i think that um not necessarily in the horror world but i think that uh these other studios need to be taking a close look at what these two companies are doing and then try to replicate it in different genres um uh, across the board but even just um, you know, where are the sort of standard adult films, not not pornos? I mean, you know, where are the Hunt for Red Octobers of the world? Um, where are those films being made? Um, and they seem to be missing. Um, you know, some of them are, you know, some things are being done in the streaming world exclusively, but um, we're talking theatrical here. And um, this is a studio that seems to um, support the theatrical experience as well as other platforms and they're doing a pretty good job of keeping uh, keep it budgets um, under control making solid returns which allows them to continue to make more films they're doing a bulk business um, for the most part now the only weird question mark is that 400 million dollar deal that uh, Blum made for The Exorcist which after one film it's not looking so good however i'm wondering if perhaps there's more to that deal that than we know than just the free film deal um so perhaps um, there is some math involved where that turns out good for them but uh, what do you think is this a positive for horror is it a positive for the film world in general uh, let us know in the comment section below um tell you what you think um uh, we'd be happy to hear from you and we do our best to respond uh, to all of your um, friendly comments in short order. Uh, but you're gonna come down there and start crap. Um, the the YouTube um, algorithm, the sensor is gonna find you. If we don't, if it doesn't, we will too. So uh, you will be gone. But all right, um, in the meantime, uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, keep it creepy.